Hi, everybody. Randy Fleischer here, music director of the Youngstown Symphony Orchestra, coming to you from my man cave slash office slash storage facility uh, here in Los Angeles, which is home to me. I so miss Youngstown. I miss the Youngstown Symphony. I miss Powers Auditorium. I miss Ford. I miss overtures. I miss all the wonderful musicians in the symphony. I miss shaking hands and saying hi after the shows. I miss everything. But this too shall pass. And in the meantime, the Youngstown Symphony Orchestra is launching sort of a virtual concert hall. We asked musicians from the symphony to see if they had some time to send us a little video of this or that of them performing, and several have. Let's start with Michael Strauss. Now, some of you might have heard of the Bach Cello Suites. They were written, we think, in 1720. We're not exactly sure when Bach wrote them. One thing we are sure of is that they were basically not performed in his time and for the longest time thereafter. And Pablo Casals, famous, famous cellist, found these amazing pieces of music, six masterpieces, and began performing them. Then other great cellists took up that, those pieces, Jano Starker, Rostropovich. Now every cellist in the world performs these six masterpieces. They're written for unaccompanied solo cello. And yet each one is like a symphony to itself, like an opera to itself, a world of human experience in one solo cello. Well, these pieces have been tr transcribed for a number of different instruments, including the viola. And our unbelievably brilliant principal violist, Michael Strauss, is performing the Allemand from the C major cello suite transcribed for viola. Let's listen to Michael. is Eugene Bozza. Beats me. Our wonderful bassoonist, Mackenzie Bronze, our principal, principal bassoon, and Arlie Savage, second bassoon, sent me this way cool duet by Eugene Bozza. So I had to look up, who is this guy? Well, it turns out he was a very important conductor. Uh, he was actually a, a, a violinist, became a conductor, became an educator, and had a pretty amazing career. Died, I think, right around the turn of the uh, uh, 21st century. Anyway, strangely, even though he was a violinist, he wrote some of the most important chamber music for wind instruments, including this fabulous piece for two bassoons, unaccompanied two bassoons, called Duettino. Here's the fourth movement. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Summer of 1989, I was extremely honored to be a conducting fellow at Tanglewood, and I got to study conducting with Leonard Bernstein, which was amazing. Now, other famous artistic directors of Tanglewood include Aaron Copeland. In fact, there was a time, long time, when Aaron Copeland was the artistic director of Tanglewood, and Leonard Bernstein came regularly as a conductor and a teacher. Now, there's an American composer by the name of Alan Hovannis who as a very young man was, got the fellowship to study composition at Tanglewood, studying both with Aaron Copeland and Leonard Bernstein, two living legends of their time. But Hovannis wanted to write his own rules of composition. So he actually left. He walked out of the composition class with Copeland and Bernstein both teaching it. Now that takes, as we say in my Jewish faith, chutzpah, that takes guts. Or maybe he was a little crazy, I don't know. Myself, I would never walk out of a conducting class with Leonard Bernstein or a composition class. Anyways, Alan Hovannis was a maverick. He was out to write his own set of rules as a composer, and he did. Uh, he was one of the first to legit classical composers to look at Chinese music, Japanese music, Indian music. He learned to play those instruments. Uh, he also uh, included sounds of nature. He has a piece called And God Created Great Whales that includes tape sounds of whales beautifully orchestrated. Anyways, Alan Hovannis was a maverick. He was an innovator. His father was Armenian, and Alan grew up, uh, you, know, you know, immersed at least in part in Armenian music, Armenian culture, and was an organist at an Armenian Orthodox church, very much soaking up these ancient, ancient, Armenian Christian scales and chants and things like that. So he wrote a piece, Shahagir, which means torchbearer, for solo viola, unaccompanied solo viola, that includes these in Ar Armenian uh, uh, plain chants, these are this Armenian scale, which sounds part Russian, sounds part Middle Eastern. To be honest with you, sounds Jewish to me. Uh, uh, it's a brilliant, haunting, expressive piece or solo viola. Once again, here's the incredible principal viola of the Youngstown Symphony, Michael Strauss.
that's all for today's Youngstown Symphony virtual concert hall. We hope to post much more product while we're all, you know, social distancing, hunkering down, waiting out this terrible coronavirus, but wanting to still send some beautiful music out to you, our subscribers. I'm Randy Fleischer, the music director of the Youngstown Symphony Orchestra. Thanks for joining us on our virtual concert hall. We'll send you more music soon.